Hey everybody, back here with the second installment of my December Daily, starting here with Day 12. On Day 12, I was working, there wasn't anything exciting going on around my house that was Christmassy, and so I went back to the 30 days of lists that um, I'd been using as journaling prompts. This time it was how to prepare for family time, and I made a list and then used enamel dots to sort of make a bulleted kind of entry. Day 13 was another one of those journaling-driven uh, pages. It's about things that I think are totally worth the investment. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare there. Um, you know, again, these are really quick pages to put together. And if all of my pages were journaling, I might not like my December Daily so well. But I am really pleased with the mix of the journaling-driven pages or the listing-driven pages versus the photo or the story-driven pages. I have a, uh, an insert between day 13 and 14, which is a 4 by 6 photo that I printed from a collage. And it was just several pictures that uh, sort of summed up that weekend. And I backed it with some October afternoon pattern paper. Over here on day 14, I used a different kind of divided page protector. It's two by two squares along the top and bottom, and in the middle, there are three by four uh, rectangles, and this is the story of Lily. She's one of my friend's dogs, and he was actually in New Orleans for the week, so Lily hung out at our house. She was a good house guest, as always. The back of that page is day 15, and this is a dinner that I attended with the fella. It's part of um, his volunteer work that he does here in town, and we actually had someone else take our picture, so for once it's not a selfie, which was kind of fun, and I also took a picture of the Christmas tree in the hotel where the dinner was held. Day 16, I included some pictures, but I guess they're a little bit silly. Up here at the top, I have a photo of the faculty breakfast that was offered at my school. And on the right, I have a, a photo of my grocery list with my grocery contents in the background. You can kind of see the half gallon of milk back there. But I thought that was a fun thing to include. I might want to look back someday and look at my list and, and how I cross things off and, and all that sort of thing. Plus, I really liked the embellishments that I got to use for this part. Day 17 is a journaling page. Again, it was a work day. There wasn't anything Christmassy happening. And this was um, a, a prompt from the 30 Days of List Gals, and it was about my favorite things to wear. I made a list of eight of them. And I, I thought it might be fun, you know, in 15 or 20 years, maybe my grandchildren will want to look and see what their Nana was wearing when um, she was maybe their mom's age. I don't know. Day 18 is a photo that I took with my friend Lori. She retired um, on the 18th, and I had to have a photo with her to commemorate that. It's not a great photo of either of us, but I'm really glad that I was able to tell the story. This is another kind of divided page protector. This one has two by two squares along the edge with four by four squares in the middle. And you'll notice that it's one of those simple stories uh, page protectors that I had to cover in washi tape and then punch my own holes. But I think that worked out really well because I used it in different spots throughout the album, not just once or twice. Day 19 was a big day for us. The fellow's little boy turned nine on the 20th. So we spent the 19th doing some family things and celebrating his birthday in advance. I made chocolate chip pancakes that morning. We went down to the IMAX theater to see Star Wars. And then we caught a Predators hockey game. I did put the hockey tickets in between here. I, I, I wanted to include more ephemera than I did in this album, so that's something I'll work on for next year. But I'm glad I got at least a couple of pieces of things in there. And then I also tell the story in kind of long journaling blocks. This is yet another kind of the divided page protector. It has two by two squares in the middle, and then it has three by three squares. Um, around the edge. And you'll notice here that I'm using one of those October afternoon die cuts that's two-sided. Those things make me so happy. 
Day 20 is not really a story from my life. It's more of a story about Kelsey, but she sent me some pictures from a dance competition that she attended with some of her students down in Nashville, and so I thought it might be fun to include that. I told the story here on my journaling um, square with some enamel dots for decoration, and then down here at the bottom, I took a picture of the gift that I got for my dear friend Travis, who came over for a visit that day, and my I guess my adventures in trying to clean my grout. It, it was definitely a job. Day 21 was actually my first day off work, and I had all of these appointments to attend, which is kind of a stupid thing for me to have scheduled, but that's the way it worked out. If you're like me, you end up with healthcare money left over at the end of the year that you have to spend before the calendar year runs out. So that's what I was doing. I went to the dentist. Yay, no cavities. I ran some errands, got stuck in traffic, uh, it was rainy and dreary, I went to the eye doctor, and so it's not a particularly Christmassy story, but I did remember to take the photos because I was off work and I wanted to include them. Day 22 was about the Scrap Gals. Tracy and I got together here in Bowling Green and celebrated our Christmas. We had uh, the early dinner or late lunch at Chewy's. We exchanged our gifts. She's always so sweet to me. And then we did a little bit of running around. We went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby on Tuesday morning. We remembered to take a selfie in Hobby Lobby. What's so funny is the first one was horrific. I looked like someone had shrunken my head. I don't know what was wrong with the angle. But the second selfie turned out as something we could both live with. Tracy got a big kick out of how goofy I looked in the first one. But I've already deleted it, people. You're not ever going to see it. Day 23 is back to the listing because I didn't have really anything going on that day. I guess I could have taken pictures of wrapping gifts or something like that, but I forgot. Let's just be real. I was trying to get it all done. So what I did was I made a list according to the 30 days of list prompts, which was say yes to, and then I made a whole list of those things to say yes to. Christmas Eve, day 24, was a multi-page spread. I used one big photo over here on the left. It was a, a photo of um, our, our sanctuary at, at Mass. And it's not a great quality photo because I took it with my phone and it was low light. And, you know, I'm printing it at home. But that's okay. I'm not going to freak out about that. I still wanted to have at least one really big picture in my album. And then we went over to my friend's house, uh, my bestie, the Davenports, and celebrated Christmas Eve with them. So we have several pictures there. I've got some pictures with the fella. There's a picture of my daughter and my niece, uh, my daughter and me there, a picture of us girls, and then a picture of the fella reading to his little boy. I didn't bring my big camera, and that was a mistake. I shouldn't have just relied on my iPhone. But that's what I had. The pictures aren't fabulous, and I'm trying not to beat myself up too much about it. Down here, I journaled about what we did that day. And uh, I was glad that I took the time in the room to tell the story. I also ended up with like an extra back page, if you will. And so I went ahead and I told the story about the weather of this Christmas. Now, technically, that could have gone on any day, but it was uh, it was just worked out that I had the space here. We had a really warm December. I mean, it was like almost 70 degrees the week of Christmas, which is not normal for Kentucky. And so I, I journaled about that a little bit. I might want to look, be, look back at that in future years and remember it. I included a selfie here as an insert. And then that introduced my Christmas Day layout, so zero days until Christmas. I know that's not what that card was designed for, but I thought it was kind of cute to use it that way, so I went with it. And then on Christmas Day, I used um, a, a three by four divided page protector, so I had four pockets on the front and four pockets on the back. Again, my pictures aren't great because I didn't have all the lights up. I wasn't using my flash. I should probably have worked on that some, but, you know, it's life. I, I, I was too busy living Christmas to worry too much about the quality of my photos. 
So maybe I'll do better next year. I need to like get some tips from Allie Edwards or something. I did get a picture of everybody, that, so that really was important to me. There are pictures of me that exist, but I hated every single one of them, so I have not included them here. I figure between all the other selfies that I take that I can at least just choose the best pictures to use of myself. <laughs> all right, December 26th, not much was going on here, so I went back to the list from Amy and Cam, and this was... Um, things that can wait until tomorrow. Talk about an easy page for me to make. I made a whole, whole list of that. And it was just a really fun, simple page to put together. Day 27 is a list of my favorite things about this time of year. And again, that was based on a prompt from 30 Days of Lists. And I had a really good time taking these different um, labels from the October Afternoon Kit and using them there. On the 28th, I met my friend Tonya, as well as Tracy and her daughter Caroline, and we all had lunch together at the chocolate-covered strawberry. It was delish. And then after that, this...